quilting friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber, and I am so lucky that I get to work with some phenomenal brands. Now, I'm really picky about the brands that I choose to work with. I get different brands reaching out to me, asking to collaborate, and I'm super picky. I have a really limited number of brands that I work with, and most of these brands that I do work with, I've been working with for years because I love them so much. I love these relationships with these brands. And one of the brands that I'm so lucky that I get to partner with is Art Gallery Fabrics. And yes, I'm wearing my Art Gallery Fabrics shirt today. And this is a box of fabric from Art Gallery Fabrics. They send me their newest lines and I get to play with them. So all of my videos that you go back and see when you see a fabric in there and you say, ooh, I love that fabric. Good taste, by the way. I love that fabric. Where did she get it from? It's Art Gallery Fabrics, 100% every time. So let me go ahead and open up this box. And no, I'm not using my good quilting scissors to open up this box. Even though there's fabric inside, fabric scissors are only for fabric. Here we go, peek inside. We've got some protective paper, of course. These are color cards. If you're not familiar with color cards, I believe every brand of fabric will have them out there. I love the Art Gallery Fabrics color cards. They do such a good job. So this is a color card for their floral elements. And you'll see what a color card is for right when I open it up. So this is Floral Elements. It's one of their blender lines. And you can see that this is all the colors available of Floral Elements. And the reason that this is so good is because Floral Elements is a fabulous blender. So if you have a fabric from your stash and you say, I want to pair it with the Floral Elements blender, but would I use Aqua Haze or would I use Aquarium or would I use Icy Blue? You can take that fabric swatch, put it right up against the color card and you'll know which ones you want to pair it with. So here's an example. This is a half yard of Nature Fusion. This one by the way is Blooming Soul Nectarine. And I can take this and say ooh like it would look really good with Mocha if I wanted a little bit of a darker um, blender or um, Winter wheat maybe has a little too much yellow, but if I go over here to ballerina or ooh, sweet pea looks great. And then um, ooh, sunset might be my favorite if I was looking for a blender to go with this fabric. And so that's how you can use a color card. And that way you know when you walk into a store or when you order your fabric online that you're getting exactly the fabric that you want and the color that you want for your fabric. So this is the new Floral Elements color card. This is the new Pure Solids color card. And look how many solids Art Gallery has. Oh my goodness, this keeps going and going. I still remember when Art Gallery was just starting out with um, solid colored fabrics. And like they didn't even fit them all on this color card. They have more that they've added since. So, oh, so many amazing colors of solids. You can do so much and the reason I'm so excited about Art Gallery Fabrics, um, their tagline is feel the difference because when you feel these fabrics, they feel different. Art Gallery Fabrics has a higher thread count than other fabrics out there and all their fabrics are also Okeotex certified, uh, which has to do with the processing that it's uh, safer for our environment, better for our earth. Um, and they're just, they're such gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. So we're gonna dive into the other stuff that's in this box. Um, oh, okay. They, the last couple of years, have had the cutest Halloween lines, and clearly they're not stopping now. Look at these are little vampire black lips with vampire, and of course, pink dripping off of there. Um, gosh, more. This fabric is just a new colorway. I've seen this in orange before, I love it in the hot fuchsia pink. I did a gnome quilt last year using their Halloween line that turned out so cute using the AccuQuilt gnomes. 
and I'm looking through and seeing, wondering if I need to do another gnome quilt this year or if I need to find another version of the gnome quilt. Their Halloween line often comes with a panel and this is their panel this year. So I'm seeing fun little designs and it looks like there's a banner bunting here. Okay, I'm already getting all kinds of ideas for things I wanna do with this. All right, these are cute. So cute, things that I wanna make with this. All right, I have some ideas. Okay, so digging in, they've sent me some of their new solids. Oh gosh. This just looks pretty all together. Like I almost want to make a quilt just out of these new solids. Um, they're so pretty and they look really good together. This is such a pretty colorway. Okay. Um, these are their holiday bundles. So these are some fall colored fabrics. This is the gratitude edition and the freedom edition. I have a patriotic pattern that maybe I'll have to remake using this freedom edition fabric. I'm seeing some of my favorite fabrics it's tucked in here. This one's called Dear Dad. To make a great Father's Day quilt. And then, and I've been super excited about this. This is their new holiday line. I'm gonna go ahead, um, and by holiday, I mean winter holiday or Christmas line. I'm gonna unbundle this one so that I can really take a look at these fabrics. Cute little village ice skates, Santa in the chimney with the stockings. I'm loving pink. It's like a vintagey Christmas, especially with these vintage ornaments. This one says fa la 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 la. Oh, is this a stripe? I have to open this one up further. I think this is a stripe. Oh, how fun is that as a stripe? You could use that as border on things. That's really fun. Okay. I love, this is like a pale, pale pink with little gold stars. Trees. And that has a little bit of a shimmer to it. poinsettias and other flowers. I'm having a hard time picking a favorite because I'm like, oh, this is my favorite. No, this is my favorite. I love Christmas cookies. So this Christmas cookie print, so good. This is those same stars. These are definitely pearly colored stars on like a, a white. This looks like a barely off white, like an eggshell. I've got a city scene on dark background, on a dark, really dark forest green, almost a teal green actually. Little snowmen. We have Santas. This one's a little more of like a Scandinavian kind of print with the horses and the This line is called Christmas in the City, by the way. And we have leaves and doves. And then those trees on a dark background, a green that's almost a teal. So there is the fun box of fabrics that Art Gallery Fabrics sent to me. I'm so excited to share these with you. Leave comments down below which fabrics you're most excited about. These will be showing up in stores soon. So check with your local quilt shop and make sure that they've ordered these in so that you can get your hands on these gorgeous Art Gallery Fabrics. That's it for today, my friends. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments below and I will see you right here real soon. Bye for now, my friends.